it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, as you guys can see, I have a kind of like colorful, folly makeup look. Um, I got my Conspiracy palette from Shane and Jeffree Star and I was so excited to get this and I'm so excited I finally have it with me. I couldn't wait to uh, play with this palette and just share my thoughts on it. So if you want to know how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there. And if you want to know how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching. I was able to get it. Um, I was able to actually get both of the palettes and I have the mini back here. Um, the mini one actually had to purchase from uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I just love the whole like packaging. It's so pretty and like the colors are amazeballs. Um, I actually do want to purchase the emerald uh, shade that they're going to bring in. Um, I wasn't a fan of the um, idea of like bringing the whole mini palette and just like adding that one in in the middle just because I already have this one and I was like well can I just buy it separately but today I'm actually gonna go in with the big conspiracy palette and oh boy okay so I actually got this um, I want to say on Friday yeah I got it on Friday morning and as you can see uh, where is it this shade right here which is the shade sleep paralysis it actually came broken. I was actually really, really upset. I just want to play with this palette and tell you guys kind of like my experience that day. I was really frustrated. Um, and kind of like, yeah. So I'll, go, I'll get into it in a little bit. So I have my brushes here um, that I'm going to use for today. And I am actually going to start by applying the color Not, Not A Fact, which is this deep purple, which... When I was watching the series, I was when as soon as I saw this shade, I was like, oh my god, like I need that shade. Like that was my that was the shade that I like got really excited for just because I love me a good like purple burgundy. So I'm gonna apply that in my crease. I actually already prepped my eyelids with the P. Louise base in rumor two. Haven't done my eyebrows, I just have them like with soap. But I think I'm going to do, but yeah, I'm just going to apply this all in my crease. And I was thinking, um, I think I'm going to do like a, obviously like a cut crease and put that uh, Trisha shade in the middle because that looks so pretty. So I'm just going to apply this all in my crease. It's a little bit powdery in the actual like palette, but it doesn't have a lot of, actually I don't see any fallout. I didn't do my foundation first just because um, the look that I wanted to go for today, I didn't want to risk like obviously ruining my um, my whole foundation. So yeah, I'm so excited. It's Thanksgiving in like two days. I cannot wait for some stuffing. I think stuffing is like my favorite like food. Stuffing and ham. And oh my god, I can't wait. And you guys, there's so many like amazing people doing like amazing art with like um more like art with like face painting and stuff. About the like packaging and stuff and it's so amazing. So the day of the release, it was a Friday. And I was super excited. I was ready with my credit card and I was like, I'm gonna get, I didn't want the whole collection. I just wanted a little, uh, I just wanted three lipsticks. I wanted, um, are you filming? I wanted the gloss, obviously. Um, and I think, I think I wanted the one that was called like, what the fuck Jeffrey? I think the pink one. And I wanted obviously both the palettes. But at the end, like, I was like, okay, if I can only get one thing, I'm just going to get the big palette, right? The conspiracy palette, because, I mean, that's, like, what mattered to me. And I was like, I just want to get that. And that Friday, I was watching, like, their stories. And just obviously, like, on the freaking website, just refreshing when it got closer to 10. I had Morphe opened. I had Morphe open. I had um, Beautylish open and Jeffree Star Cosmetics open. 
just in case, just in case I wanted to have like a plan B and like be able to have other websites in case like Jeffrey like was gonna like sell out like in 30 seconds. That is a beautiful purple. Pur that is a beautiful purple. I'm gonna take a Morphe M506. I'm actually gonna blend pigment, which is this pink right here. By the way, the colors, I'm gonna like do a close up so you guys kind of actually see like the colors and everything. And it's just the names of the shadows are just so like amazing. I'm just gonna start blending this on my edges. And I'm just, here's where I'm gonna start taking my time with blending. So I was like super anxious and I was just like, dude, like they're gonna sell out. I just need to be prepared. Plus I had my phone. And I was just, you know, ready, <laughs> ready uh, as soon as the clock hit 10. Um, I refreshed the website and I was just like trying to add the products and it kept saying that there was an error and I was like, what the hell? Like, I, I wasn't on like Instagram or anything, like I wasn't checking anybody, like their stories to see if people were able to like get the products and it just kept saying um that there was an error and like that uh it couldn't be added to my cart and i was just like so frustrated and i was like like what how is this like happening i tried butylish the website went down in like a 10 one jeffrey star cosmetics like i was able to add i think i was able to add the palette and like the are you filming lipstick and because I kept like trying to add them and I was like add to cart, add, add to cart and I clicked it several times and it would work until like the third time I was I was clicking it and once I wanted to like check out it would say that there was an error and I was like what and I tried that and I tried that and like it was it wasn't letting me like do the checkout or like actually like buy the products I'm going back with that not a fact which is the purple uh, shade and I'm just applying that here again so I can keep blending it without losing that purple shade. People were getting really upset because they weren't they weren't able to like they weren't able to like check out and people a lot of people were not able to buy any of the products. So after the websites being down I logged into Beauty Bay and uh, like fortunately they I guess they had some on stock still and mind you this is like hours after the launch so I hurry up and I got it online and yeah it shipped um, it did take way longer than expected because I've ordered from Beauty Bay before and this time around it took like two and a half weeks to get to me um, I was on vacation and I had put my my mail on hold I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye I'm gonna take pigment next and then I'm gonna blend that uh, with my pills yeah that was the whole the whole ordeal with trying to get this palette and people were going crazy I saw so many tweets um, I saw the tweet of the girl that actually they put that in the like series finale of the girl in the hospital and like Shane sent her like the whole collection that was so nice that she was trying to like get signal in her phone while like in the hospital and I was just like oh my god like I just watched the season finale yesterday or the day before I finished it and I was just like that was that was a good end to the finale, to the, like, the series. Like, I really liked it. I'm going to grab a Morphe M421, and I'm just going to pack it with concealer. Now, how I want to do my cut crease, that's the question. So 
So as you can see, I cut my crease and I actually went kind of like, I left like one fourth with not cutting my crease and then I blended the shade Not A Fact right here just to blend that concealer and kind of like so that I wouldn't have like a harsh line here. Um, I actually have like a easy cut crease with hearted eyes and I'll link it up here if you guys haven't watched that. But now we're going to move on and actually like do this like ombre look that we did over here. One thing I did notice is that the yellow is a little bit chalky. Um, I actually, I don't know if it's because of the base that I cut my crease with, but you're going to see right now, but I tried multiple times to like apply it. I even tried it with my finger and it does feel a little chalky. It looks like the pigmentation looks amazing, but once I actually like put it on, like put it there, the payoff wasn't that great. So I'm going to apply a little bit with my finger and... I don't know if you can tell that on camera, but it looks a little bit like chalky. So I had to go in multiple times and just apply that color really carefully. And I'm using a Morphe M432, which is a flat shader brush. And I went in multiple times to apply this color and also kind of like really close to that cut right here of our crease. But in order to get that pigmentation that we see right here, and it's actually doesn't, it's not coming out of on camera. It doesn't look as neon as it does on the actual palette. But I have to, like with this one, I've gotten so much fallout. I don't know, you can see, like I got a lot of fallout with this shade. So, I mean, it's a super pretty yellowy shade and super unique but I just feel like the color payoff it's not coming off that great I feel like it's like I said a little bit chalky and I think yeah I think that's like the best way to like describe it because I've get I'm getting a lot of fallout but yet the pigment it's not really there. I'm gonna move on and I'll come back to that at the end, but I'm gonna grab a little bit of the cheetah, uh, cheese dust with a Morphe R41, which is a like small pencil brush, and I'm gonna blend this here. Just like so, just so that we don't have a harsh transition between the yellow and the pink. I'm gonna go in with that pink, which is the pigment shade, and then add it right here at the last tail of that. I'm gonna grab the shade pigment in between that purple and that orange. I'm gonna go and do my face off camera, and then I'll be right back so we can finish the eyes. Okay, so now that I have like my face on, I feel like it looks really cool. Um, so I'm going to go and do my lower lash line. And I'm going to start off with the shade Cheese Dust. I think I want to bring that orange um, back into the like whole look. So this is the shade uh, Cheese Dust. And I'm going to grab that with that same uh, pencil brush that we used. And... I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line. And then I don't know what I want to do for my inner corner highlight. I think I'm going to grab a little bit of uh, my pills, which is the super light shade of pink, which is this one right here. And I'm going to blend that on the bottom just a little bit. I'm just going to go in and grab a little bit of my um, Not A Fact, which is the purple that we used at the beginning on the Morphe E36. And I'm going to apply that a little bit on my outer corner. Just like halfway through my lower lash, the look.
for my inner corner highlight, I think I'm going to just go in plain and simple and I'm going to go in with Ranch, which is a, I've heard it's like a super beautiful, like white shimmer shade, which yes it is. So I'm going to grab that and put it as my inner corner highlight. And I'm going to grab... I do notice that some of these shadows, actually all of the shadows that I used today are a little bit more um, like powdery than other shadows. Before I put on some lashes, I'm going to put a little bit of this NYX Professional Makeup Retractable Eyeliner in white in my waterline. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put on some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so for my lips, I decided to go just super natural and I'm going to grab my Fenty uh, Fen uh, Gloss Balm in Fenty Balm, which is just the regular she came out with. And it's just a gloss. I'm going to keep it really natural on the lips, obviously, because our eyes are super, like, out there. So this is the final look. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I am actually so happy that I was able to get this. Um, I believe in the series they did say they're going to have a restock in like March or May. I think they're going to have like two restocks. Not sure. Um, but definitely keep them, keep on the... But definitely keep an eye out and make sure that you pick it up. It's an amazing palette. It's just such a unique palette. You can just let your imagination go. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. I hope that this video, like, get you out of your comfort zone and just make you want to try more colors and just explore the makeup, you know? It's just makeup. You can just take it off at the end of the day. As always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!